Tuesday, there were six confirmed cases in India and today there are 29, showing the infectious nature of the disease that has killed over 3,000 people across the globe with over 90,000 people who have been tested positive. 16 Italian nationals have been tested positive for the virus, prompting the government of India to screen all international passengers. Union Health Minister Dr. Harsh Vardhan chaired a high-level review meeting today, saying all only symptomatic treatment is available, adding that 50 labs are being set up for testing. The government's action plan is to boost Jan Bhagidari or awareness drives, appealing to people to maintain hygienic surroundings, avoid large congregations and identify disease hotspots to contain the outbreak. The Bengal government has ordered all hospitals to prepare isolation wards. All Delhi hospitals have been told to keep good quality isolation wards with the Delhi government forming a task force with Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal at the helm. All governments have appealed to the people to not panic. The outbreak is having an effect on just about everything from politics to the military to religious events. Uh, Home Minister Amit Shah's rally in Hyderabad scheduled for the March 15th has been postponed. The Indian Navy has postponed its multilateral joint exercise called Milan involving 30 nations while Prime Minister Narendra Modi announced that, th that he will not be celebrating Holi. President Ramnath Kovind announced that the Rashpati Bhavan will not celebrate the festival as well. And on the international front, Saudi Arabia has suspended pilgrimage of Umrah. The virus has also reached the offices of uh, the European Union in Brussels and one confirmed case. On Epicenter tonight, we have gathered India's top medical minds to understand how to tackle this crisis, contain the spread and prevent infection. Joining me now.